Hello everyone, my name is Ian. Welcome back to my hobby YouTube channel in brief book and film reviews. So I wanted to come online today and give a documentary review to a very well renowned GAA player, a former GAA player, Jason Sherlock. Um, I watched this documentary about two or three weeks ago and you know it was a really really good documentary and I won't be shy or afraid to say that you know I shed a couple of tears while watching it and that uh, well welled up I, I suppose and that is more the, the, the phrase to say uh, well done watching it uh, because it was very heartfelt so before I give um, an explanation into the documentary and what it's about um, I just want to give a few details about Jason Sherlock himself so Jason Sherlock is a former as I said a former GAA fair player uh, very well renowned especially in his early days in his career and stuff um, he was born in Dublin and on the 10th of January 1976 and uh, he played for Dublin uh, County, uh, or County Dublin, and uh, he also played club level for Nafiena, Nafiena, which is a club in Finglas, in north, uh, the north suburbs of uh, Dublin. Um, he won every honour uh, from club, with, with club and into county level. And it's an actual, it's a pity actually, you know, in terms of when you talk about Dublin and with his contribution to Dublin. Um, you know, playing for Dublin, that it's a pity like him and other players as well, like um, Kieran Whelan, who was an exceptional player as well, didn't win, uh, didn't win All Ireland or more All Ireland. He actually only won one, which is when you think about the long career he had. I think he was with the Dublin Panel for about 15, 16, 17 years or something. <coughs> when you think about that, it's uh, quite sad actually in that, that he should have won more uh, in some really good teams. But they were just uh, quite good enough in, in certain years uh, to progress past that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, he also actually played for soccer as well for University College Dublin UCD and uh, Shamrock Rovers. <clears throat> he um, amassed, I think it was about 29 goals in about 140 something odd appearances. Um, so he would have had an average of around about one goal in every 3.6 games. Um, yeah, so be right. So the documentary itself is basically so Jason Sherlock. His mother was Irish. Uh, his daddy was from I think Hong Kong. His father had a rest. I don't want to go into too much because I don't want to spoil it. His dad, father basically ran a restaurant and that you know, um, and he he grew up. Uh, his mother was like a single parent and that you know, and his he grew up in in North uh, Dublin, uh, Finglas area. Um, he talks about um, going through the mail as a child and that in Dublin in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, which wasn't easy, I can tell you that now. It's definitely not what I, you, it's definitely not what it used to be. Uh, I don't know if it's got um, um, better or worse. It depends on your perspective. But um, yeah, so he talks about that. He's uh, going up, got kind of a skill, being looked at differently, obviously, because he's half Chinese and um suffering uh, some racism which you would do at that time and that you know um <laughs> it's more politically correct now it wouldn't be tolerated it would it wasn't really tolerated back then but you know there was it was still kind of like very open and that you know um but he, he actually used that you know he talks about using that to his event he doesn't actually talk about using that to his advantage but he used it to his advantage in the sense that uh you know he was this young handsome uh chinese half chinese a young player dublin accent and that very talented and that you know and he was able to mark himself you know um you know it's this this wonder boy you know which is great you know it really was and that um because he was at a disadvantage in so many ways growing up and that you know his father not being around and stuff and that um and he anyone that has a father didn't have a father growing up or didn't have a mother growing up and that they know exactly what i'm talking about <coughs> um so he spoke about that um the documentary leads up to uh going through like him with teachers with um former players and then it goes on the like an expedition to uh, to South Africa to go to um, you know a place uh, I think it was in Darwin where his father was tragically um, tragically murdered uh, coming out of his restaurant over there uh, with the days taken by a South African gang uh, really tragic and that. Um, one of the bits that really got me was when he went into he was really open in this documentary that's what got you know brought tears to my eyes he was really open about it like 
uh, and it was beautiful to see. It was, re it was real class, real like real Dublin and that you know, like uh, someone from Dublin would do this and that you know, it'd be really open, uh, very placid person, really good, ma really well mannered family man and uh he one of the things that got me is when he went to like a chinese temple i i um i think it was a chinese temple over in south africa if, 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 if i can remember you now that doctor and that you know documentary and uh he kind of like uh he was visiting his father's ashes and just like you know looking at him there going there for the first time and then he met his uh, half brother also as well um around the restaurant it was just like meeting him for the first time in front of the camera it's like wow like this guy is like he just goes to show how much balls he has and that not just as a, as a former GAA player but like as a person just to do that in front of the camera is like exceptional and that I think me personally would have been more private about stuff like that I was like nah, nah, nah let me get this out of the way and you know for us and then we can talk you can chat and you can you know you can film us chat later on and that so fair deals to him I, I just thought it was a really really good um uh, documentary uh, it was ran for about 50 minutes and uh, yeah you go through everything with him and that in there and uh, it was kind of like a really really good, uh, interesting documentary and that you know and it, it, you know like repeat a lot of people especially, especially young people and that you know they feel like the ball is beating them up and stuff and that <coughs> um, I, I used to think the same thing as a young person growing up as uh, you know uh, as being older now myself and that I come to realize and that you know um about life and that as you get older you get more mature and and you kind of see things that you wouldn't see um but with, with the it just it was just amazed me how open he was about the whole whole um you know his, his whole story and stuff and that and i really enjoyed watching that i have to say uh, excellent documentary and i'd highly review it you know i really would and you should take a watch of it i, I believe in that um if, even if you put it you know in little small segments and now you've got 20 minutes here it's on youtube i'll put it in the description and that so you can watch it and um you can follow the link straight away you can go into it and that and uh, yeah even if you watch it like 20 minutes here 15 minutes here 15 minutes there it's, it's a great one to watch and that so yeah very humane and, and uh, a great story so that's it from me um that's my um documentary review for the week and i've been meaning to get online a little bit more but uh, i'm going through a lot at the moment and that in my life and that so um i don't have the time as much as what i used to do to sit down and give reviews uh, and read books also now but i'm still tipping away doing bits and stuff and that so i hope everyone's doing well staying blessed positive gratuitous uh feeling the good vibes and that and um, that's it from me i'll try and pop on next week also uh, if i can't and that so that's it, okay, take care everyone.